Barack Obama just lost IT at a huge public tantrum when he realizes he's not president anymore, while President Donald Trump is at the United Nations National Assembly in New York City, his predecessor, Barack Obama isn't far behind. The commander-in-chief's shadow seems to follow him wherever he goes as he struggles to relinquish control of the position he once held. However, Trolling around holding on to Trump's coattails just reached an embarrassing new low when he realized his bottom feeder place in life. Barack wasn't ready to be a civilian again and give his title and he's so desperate to hear those words that it wouldn't be surprising if he made his family and staff call him that around the house. Despite what he tells himself, his eight years in officer are more than up and he's no longer the leader of the nation. This reality apparently hit pretty hard today when he suffered a public meltdown that he should be pretty humiliated by, but is probably too arrogant to realize how he embarrassed himself. Obama is in New York today to reclaim the spotlight from Trump in a desperation move to feel like he's still relevant. He was given the opportunity to speak at Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Goalkeepers Conference. While it's an honor to be in the presence of Gates, who is an actual revolutionary in modern society, Barack saw the opportunity differently when he took the podium. Truthfeed reports, when it comes to former U.S. presidents, they've all got different ways of approaching their post-presidency policies and ways of life. Some, like President Carter, continue public service by pouring themselves into programs that are designed to help America. Some, like President Bush, retire from the public eye and focus more on private family life. Most retire with grace and move on after serving their presidential terms, but one former U.S. president seems unable to let go of the past. Since being forced to admit he was wrong. After saying that Donald Trump would never be the president of the United States, Barack Obama has been a little attached to his former job. In fact, he mentions his time as commander-in-chief often and continues to travel abroad, acting as if he is still the U.S. president. At a recent speech, Obama mentioned that he was a U.S. president five times, seemingly longing for the good old days when he was still in charge and was able to push his radical left-wing agenda without any resistance from the GOP. Although he repeatedly reiterated that he was the president, just in case there was anyone who had forgotten who he was, that wasn't the worst of his public display of desperation. In his relatively short time with the microphone, which was just a total of 18 minutes, arrogant Obama managed to squeeze in a whopping 42 references to himself. Using simple math, this means the former arrogant leader of the United States referred himself about every two and a half minutes. With this extreme level of self-indulgence and need for attention, it's comical that liberals say Trump is self-centered. Given the velocity in which he talked about himself to a crowd of people there to hear about real ideas and not Obama, you could say he was suffering a public tantrum to make himself relevant to the American people by reminding everyone of his name and perceived accomplishments while in office. The American Mirror reports, Obama was so focused on himself, he couldn't help but quote himself. Praising the Gates' action on climate change, Obama said, We can figure it out. It can be done. And that spirit, that spirit that says, to quote, I guess, myself, Yes we can, triggered laughs and cheers from the crowd. After Obama went on a stem winder of a response during a Q&A portion, he wrapped it up by saying, the last thing I'll say so that I don't sound like I'm still in the US Senate and filibustering, before offering a point, which he called a profound one. While talking about his days in Chicago, Obama recalled them in the ever-humble Obamaxu fashion. My early work as a community organizer in Chicago taught me an incredible amount, but I didn't set the world on fire, he said. Obama repeatedly talked about my staff and reminded the audience at least five times that he was president. All told, Obama talked about himself 96 times during the roughly 48-minute appearance. He said I 78 times, and me or my 18 times. It was not disclosed how much Obama or his foundation was paid for his appearance. If Barack Obama really wants to impress the American people, he should retire gracefully, let everyone move on from that bad relationship, and simply slip into obscurity and stay away from the microphone. Trump is in charge now and doesn't need his help. 
He's doing a fine job on his own running this country and putting the pieces back together that Obama left him with. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.